brief example as to how to get started on this atmospheric graphing. Um, so we're going to be doing a graph looking at altitude and kilometers above the Earth or the surface of the Earth. And we're going to be comparing that to uh, temperature in degrees Celsius that's found at those particular altitudes. And when we get done, hopefully the graph will provide us with a visual representation that will uh, help make sense of it. So we have uh, our y-axis or our vertical axis is the altitude in kilometers. And then our x-axis or our horizontal axis is temperature in degrees Celsius. So I started in pencil just in case I made any mistakes and I find the altitude on the y-axis and then I move over and match that up with the temperature in degrees Celsius that's found at that particular altitude. Be careful or mindful uh, to watch your uh, negative degrees. Um, they're easy to get uh, mixed up so make sure you, you watch for those negatives. At the end, uh, I use some of the information on that particular sheet, or you could reference uh, the additional information in the packet or other sources to go ahead, and I'd wait till the end till all your points are in and everything, um, to go ahead and mark off the mesosphere and the troposphere or the tropopause, and you could put in um, man-made objects that are typically found at those levels, like aircraft or uh, hot air balloons, satellites, etc.